Drip too hard, I'm staying too cold, fuck around. I got drip, fam. I got drip, for say. I'm dripping on them, baby. Welcome to the very first episode of Weekly Drip Check, brought to you by Hack Life Golf. It's your boy Ty, and we about to get into this on-course drip. For the first episode, we got my dog, Tee Up Kicks with Chris. Now, Chris did a photo shoot about two months back, and it was coordinated drip. Absolutely, he, he went crazy with this photo shoot. My dog had it coordinated all the way from the fit to the golf cart. I'm telling you, it was absolutely, it was just coordinated. It was, it was beautifully coordinated, my dog. But we're about to get into what my dog was rocking at the course that day of the photo shoot. Uh, we're gonna get into the brand, the style he was going for. We, we're even gonna rate the fit itself. Now, uh, if you haven't followed Tee Up Kicks with Chris, make sure you do that. Subscribe to his YouTube. My dog is a absolute legend in the shoe review game when it comes to the golf course. He is absolutely dogging everything out there. So shout out to my guy on that. Make sure you go follow and subscribe. All his info will be below. Now, let's get to this drip. So my dog came through with a navy blue fit. Now, blue is one of my favorite colors. Navy, I'm, I'm with it. I'm all for it. I'm telling you right now, it's dripping. So my dog got the navy blue Stussy hat with the white accent Stussy across. Absolutely dope. If you haven't heard of Stussy, they're not really in the golf game, but in the fashion game, period, they are a staple. Absolutely dope. Been rocking with Stussy for years. Uh, I definitely have a few Stussy items in the closet. Next, we got the Nike Victory Golf Crew. I believe this came out right before that fall season started i believe it was the fall drop it's it's just the crew it's not the quarter zip which i, I absolutely like about that the navy blue again one of my favorite colors goes with the hat the, the whole fit is put together well then we go to the pants nike you need to step your game up and introduce some of your active wear pants to everyday golf i'm telling you right now it'll make sense you'll make some money off of it the return of investment will be great i'm telling you that now uh, i'll leave my venmo and cash app in the description so you can pay me my royalties when you use my idea show me the money but he got the nike activewear pants on um, absolutely coordinates with the fit navy blue super dope as you see here my guy got the white glove now i see i see where he's coordinating that right now because what this dude has on his feet now remember i said this was a couple months ago this dude has the jordan 4g or the cement force how you get those bro what you do to get them who's the plug what do I gotta pay? I know they got my size. Just, just link. No, I'll, I'll hit you later about that. My guy came through dripping with this shit. Absolutely. Um, if you wanna hear more, learn more on the Jordan 4Gs that are coming out, um, I believe they'll actually already be out when this video drops. Go head over to my boy Chris's YouTube. He has a review. It was the first review in the United States. So uh, props to that guy for being innovative and getting that early release. My guy definitely coordinated with this drip. Uh, overall, I give it a 10 out of 10, not being biased because that is the that is the homie. But I will rock this to the course. Absolutely. Uh, everything about this, nothing I would change. Uh, even with the Stussy, I never really thought to throw Stussy in there. I never really thought to throw outside brands that aren't in the golf community, uh, especially with the hat or a, a few polos that some brands do have that is that dry fit material, polyester, nylon type of feeling. But yeah, 10 out of 10. Let's get to the prices of this drip. My dog got the Stussy hat on. Stussy, I would say, throws their hats out there for about 35, maybe $50 at most. Uh, I'll go ahead and tag them below so you can check Stussy out. Again, they are not in the golf 
fashion realm, but they are a staple in the fashion game itself. Next, we got the Nike Victory Golf Crew. That ranges anywhere under $100. Um, I'm not sure they have these in stock anymore. I believe it was last season, uh, that fall season, winter season, as the weather got cooler that they dropped these. Most of them are sold out. You might be able to find a few here, here and there at different websites for under that $100 range. Um, now my dog got the Nike Active pants on. I always want to say golf because I just believe they should be golf anyway. So Nike switched that over to the golf room. Uh, then pay me my coin. But you can get those again anywhere under $100. Uh, I would say anywhere from $75 to $100, usually around that golf pants price anyways. Definitely good material, has that dry fit. Just like the golf crew, um, that's some of my favorite material. It's just comfortable, it makes me feel good. I like to be comfortable on the course, uh, as well as dripped out. Okay, as I said before, go check out my dog if you wanna see a review on the Cement for Golfs. He had them early, um, don't get that plug. But, 220 is the retail. They'll probably be sold out in less than a day. Uh, they are a coveted sneaker. The buildup is huge. The hype is huge, especially for sneaker heads. They uh, right now retail for 220, but they're probably gonna go more than that on GOAT and Nike as you just got caught up in your little scandal with the VP, um, being that that dude has millions of shoes or millions of dollars worth of shoes in a warehouse. Um, I believe you said you want to go direct to consumer and save these uh, hype beasts from getting all your stuff. So do that with the size 14 so I can get some shoes. Again, if you wanna see the review on that, uh, go over to my guy, TL Kicks with Chris YouTube and subscribe. Uh, again, 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, fit itself is worth about $500. My dog dropped a bag on this. Um, plus you see he got the Jordan boxes and Adidas boxes in there. He did another uh, shoe swap with, I believe it was the Adidas Z, it might be ZX. 8,000. Again, not necessarily a sneaker head, but I am with the fashion. And I definitely would rock both both of those on the course. Uh, the They had that light blue with the yellow accents and some navy blue accents. It would actually go dope with this. Uh, even with the white glove and the white stussy, it just it, it sets it off. So uh, 10 out of 10 for my dog. Uh, no bias in that whatsoever. My dog just, he, he has, we're, we're like-minded when it comes to the drip and when it comes to uh, a lot of things, we go back and forth with that. So. I appreciate my guy for uh, letting me make you the first episode of Weekly Drip Check. Don't forget to put that on course. Uh, we got a lot of big stuff coming. You're going to see this every week, once a week for the next 10 or so weeks. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channels. Uh, again, Tia Kicks with Chris and Hack Life Golf where you can see me do some daily golf vlogs, stuff like that. I will be getting back into the swing of things, but as far as that goes, make sure you check us out. Stay tuned. We got some big things coming, especially for this series right here. Uh, next episode, we got my guy, B-Dub G, Bradford Wilson Golf. Uh, salute to Black Active Golf on the hat, Peer Culture with the shirt. Make sure you get your drip right, because I'm coming for you. Next episode, next week, Friday. Stay tuned, go subscribe, share this to your friends. And for any brands that would like to have their merch, their new clothes reviewed, holler at me, slide in the DMs, I'll get you an address and I can put it on weekly drip check. So shout out to y'all, keep rocking with us. Shout out to Hat Gang all the day once. And we out this time. It's all about the drip. It's all about the drill. It's all about the drill. It's all about the drill.